Hello everyone. Uh, today my topic is uh, fatty, fatty acid IPAC name. What is my topic? Fatty acid IPAC name. Okay. Um, how are you going to be named the fatty acid? So first you have to understand what is fatty acid. Fatty acid is basically uh, carboxylic fatty acid or carboxylic acid carboxylic acid which contain fatty acid or carboxylic acid which contain a um, long hydrocarbon chain hydrocarbon chain there are, there are two kind of fatty acid one is saturated rated fatty acid another one is unsaturated fatty acid saturated fatty acid is carbon carbon single bond unsaturated fatty acid is carbon carbon double bond so right now i will teach you how you can i'll explain you how you can um how you can what is called um give the ipac name for uh, fatty acid saturated fatty acid unsaturated fatty acid okay unsaturated fatty acid like for example and you do know that I told you the definition of uh, fatty acid is like a it is a carboxylic acid. How you can we understand this carboxylic acid if there is a OH and double bond O is present with the carbon. And fatty acid is basically um, 4 to 34 carbon present in the long chain of um, in the, in the um, carbohydrate chain. In the long uh, 4 to 34. How many carbon? 4 to 34. Usually. Saturated fatty acid, like for example, if you have a, uh, this one, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three. Okay. So right now, look right now. What is the name of this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. So sixteen carbon is in there. What is the name of this one? Because there is no double bond, that's why this is saturated S double T. Saturated fatty acid. Okay, so there is this how many carbon? 16 carbon and 16 carbon how you can be named this one is this called N number of carbon and what? 16 means hexa decanoic acid. Hexa dec means 16 and noic means there is a C double bond OH. This is the noic and this is a uh, fatty acid. Okay, 
So this is uh, IP8 name. IP8 name of this one is N hexadecanoic acid. And you can write the skeletal name is 16 0. That means it's telling me 0 means there is no double bond in present in here. And this part is the, your naming. This is your naming and hexadecanoic acid. Right now, I will explain you unsaturated fatty, fatty, fatty acid. Unsaturated fat, fatty acid. Unsaturated fatty acid. Right now, I'll explain you unsaturated fatty acid. It's simple how unsaturated fatty acid, okay, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. Okay, look right now if you this is number one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There is a how many carbon? Eighteen carbon. So for unsaturated fatty acid, you have to understand two things. What is the two things? One is configuration, configuration, and you have to know the delta. This is called delta. Configuration and delta. What is the configuration? It can be cis configuration, it can be trans configuration. But re re remember that in natural fatty acid, natural fatty acid, they are usually, most of them, usually they are cis configuration. So don't worry about the trans configuration. This is, think about cis configuration and this configuration and the, this is the delta and this delta it, it would be tell you this delta would be tell you what delta would be tell you tell you the double bond number number and double bond number always you have to lower in the number double bond number what you have to do you have to lower in that number so look right now in this case number 9 and number 10 has a what double bond but you have to lower the number how because uh, you have to lowering the number which one is your lowering number number 9 number 9 if you write is going to be lowering the number okay and this is configuration is cis configuration so how you can name it the name would be this one cis is the configuration and delta is going to be tell you what is your double bond present your double bond present in number nine your double bond in is present in number nine and there is a how many carbon in there 18 carbon 18 means octa octa deck enoic acid acid before before for saturated for saturated it was Hexa deck anoic acid. The only difference be between um E there is E and here here was what A. So instead of A, you're gonna be right E. E A is telling me there is no double bond, but E is telling me there is a double bond. Okay, so this is the name of this one cis delta 9 octa decanoic acid. And what is the, my previous one was saturated and hexadecanoic acid, the common name of this one, that one was palmitic acid. Thick acid. What is the common name of um, this one? This one common name is um, 18, right? Oleic acid. Oleic acid. Oleic acid. Okay, so you understand right now your what is called uh, satur saturated um, saturate saturated fatty acid. 
saturated fatty acid naming and unsaturated fatty acid naming how you need a configuration this is cis configuration and delta 9 is telling me that this is uh, number 9 position you have a double bond and this E is telling me that this is a double bond and um, octadecan means 18 carbon is in there and this is this is the naming of uh, unsaturated fatty acid okay so right now if somebody write you like that 6 18 1 skeleton this is called a skeleton a skeleton name this is this one is telling me there is a one double bond if there is 16 for this one 0 this 0 this 0 is telling me that there is no double bond so you understand right now that what uh, um, 18.1 or 16.0 in your books if you see you can tell me that how many double bond is in pair uh, in there and how many carbon 18 carbon this one is 16 carbon okay right now I will draw for you the another one okay All 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and always remember that in fatty acid, fatty acid case, there is always even number, not odd number. Always even number 18 is going to be 20 or 24, but not uh, you will not see that is, is 17, 15, 13 carbon. You will see even number carbon, okay? Right now, um, and how you do. Oh, what is the things is telling you that this is a e con uh, cis configuration the cis configuration is telling me this one you do know there is a bond this one is bond line formula right so you do know that you are talking about this the double bond carbon so this double bond carbon look right now is one there is a what is missing for this carbon this carbon right now in our eyes we can see there is a three bond for this carbon one two and three uh, this carbon this carbon is one and the, there is two double bond is three three bond one more bond is missing why because of there is a bond line formula so we cannot write the carbon in bond line formulas but we do know in our mind that there is a one more hydrogen is in there for this carbon also the same thing is hydrogen is in there so why my hydrogen is in the top position because my one hand is in the down position that means my other hand obvious in the top position so look right now hydrogen atomic number is low and carbon atomic number is high this one hydrogen atomic number is low carbon atomic number is high so we do know that low low high high the same thing that's why this is cis configuration T same thing about this one is low this hydrogen is low high and high so low low high high is telling me that this is a cis configuration so you do know how you can you number first you have to tell the configuration this configuration is cis configuration and how many how many cis configuration two cis configuration that's why two time is cis and you have to lower the number this delta is telling me that my of uh, where is my double bond present or where is my double bond situated so my double bond is present in number nine why because not number 10 why because number nine is we are lowering the number our goal is lowering the double bond number and we have in delta 12 we have a double bond also and how many carbon in there is 18 octa deck octa means 8 deck means 10 that means octa deck means 18 and there is a two double bond two double bond that's why this is di and double bond e is di enoic acid So octa deck di double bond di enoic acid two double bond two double bond 
eme is uh, alkene and noic acid and um this is the way you can write you can write what you can write the uh, your ipf name okay right now tell me what is the what is the um what is called mm, common name of this one the common name of this one is common name is This is oleic, common name of this one is, um, what is the common name of this one? This is the common name is, I think, um, linoic acid. Okay, th th this is the common name of this one. So, uh, then, e e okay. okay right now you have to understand the one more thing that you do know there is a this is a the last carbon the distal in carbon there is a ch3 one methyl group in there the last carbon we have a methyl group for this carbon for this carbon the carboxylic carbon carbo uh, carbonyl carbon carbonyl carbon is number one so that's why this is the distal in like at the end position you have a one methyl group you can name this one is a different way how this is carbon number one this is two your methyl group is number one and then two then three four five six so you can write this one in the different way six omega six omega fatty acid fatty acid 6 omega the omega symbol is like that you can write this way omega fatty acid <coughs> excuse me this is your what this is the um ipx name for IPF name for what? IPF name for um, uh, linoleic, linoic acid that means cis, cis, delta 9, delta 12, octa, decanoic acid. I'm not sure about my spelling of this one. You guys can check in internet or in your book. Uh, I think it's L-I-N-O-I-C, linoic acid. Okay. And uh, if I ask you that uh, what is the... Um, if you count that CH3 is your number one, you can write this one in a uh, different way. It's called 6 omega fatty acid. Uh, fatty acid and this is also also this is also correct because you are lowering the double bond number you are lowering the double double bond number by what by methyl group so you are giving the methyl group is your number one and in this way you are getting closest way your double bond so if in your exam if it is comes that find out your uh, omega number or you can say this is this this specific this specific uh, fatty acid uh, there is a double um, six omega fatty acid that means number six position you have a double bond okay so i hope you guys like my video if you really like my video about um, fatty acid ipf naming don't forget to share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe uh, why you need a naming ipx naming because if you if you do know the ipx naming you can very easily figure out the melting point melting point of saturated and unsaturated fatty fatty acid in my next video i'll explain you uh, melting point of saturated and unsaturated fatty acid and thank you for watching my videos hopefully see you in the next video thank you